the accuracy of an analytical procedure expresses the closeness of agreement between the value which is accepted either as a conventional true value or an accepted reference value and the value found now this is sometimes also referred as a trueness so this is the definition of accuracy defined by the ICH guideline validation for analytical procedures Q2R1. So as a part of this video, we will discuss the preparation of accuracy solutions for an assay of a drug product with multiple strength. Most of the times people struggle to understand how one can define these concentration preparations while accuracy performance. Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and I am on the mission to help pharma professionals to get absolute clarity on various technical aspects just like accuracy in this case. So if you are struggling with technical aspects or career growth and would like to unleash your true potential, join the Pharma Growth Hub today. To know more about the services of the Pharma Growth Hub, join the WhatsApp group of Pharma Growth Hub by using the link given in the description. So what we are going to cover in this video, we will first understand the formulation composition because it is also very important in case if you have a dose proportionate formulation, probably you can have the single accuracy study for all the multiple doses strength. But in case if you have a pseudo dose proportionate formulation or a non proportionate formulation, probably you cannot have the single accuracy study across the multiple strength. We also need to define the placebo weight across all the different strength. Then we are going to define the API weight or the concentration of an API during the preparation of the stock of each and every assay preparation across the multiple strength. And finally, we will talk about the dilution and the volumes. I hope you will find the video useful. So to explain this uh, complex scenario, I would like to take an example because I always believe that the example helps in understanding the topic. So here is the example onto your screen. So you have to perform accuracy for assay of a tell me certain tablets. And there are three strengths available for tell me certain. The first one is tell me certain 20 milligram. The dosage weight of this strength is 100 milligram. Then the second strength is tell me certain 40 milligram tablet with the dose weight is 200 milligram. And the last one is tell me certain 80 milligram tablet with a dose weight of 400 milligram. All are dose proportionate strength or formulation and have a common HPLC test procedure. So what information you can draw from this example that you have a tell me certain tablet tab as a uh, product to perform the accuracy study. 20, 40, 80 milligram are their strength. So it is a multiple dose formulation. And if you look at the, the dosage weight or the unit weight per tablet of all this strength, you can find that they are actually dose proportionate. So 20 milligram, 100 mg is the tablet weight. So 40 milligram obviously should become 200 milligram. And hence 80 milligram should be 400 milligram. So all these are the dose proportionate formulation and they are analyzed by using the common HPLC test procedure. Let us now understand the exact preparation of the each and every strength. So for tell me certain 20 milligram tablets, you have to take 20 tablets and drop into a 100 ml volumetric class and then dilute with the diluent. Further, pipette out 10 ml of the resultant solution and then dilute to 100 ml. So this is the preparation for Tell me certain 20 milligram tablet. For test preparation for tell me certain 40 milligram is again take 20 tablets of tell me certain uh, 40, dilute it to 100 ml, and then further dilute 5 ml to 100 ml. And the last one is test preparation for now the tell me certain tablets 40 milligram strength. And again, you need to take 20 tablets of a tell me certain 40 milligram. Dilute it to 100 ml and then further dilute 5 ml to 200 ml. Now what is the next important step is you need to understand can we perform the single accuracy study for all this strength. So answer will be dependent on to the dose proportionate formulation. So the answer to this first question is yes. 
as all are dose proportionate formulation and hence the single accuracy can be possible. Yes, because the test procedure is also the same and it is also as yes because the final sample concentration is the same. Now having understood that the single accuracy study is possible for all these three different strengths of tell me certain tablet, you need to understand what is the initial and final concentration of each taste preparation. Remember during performance of the accuracy study, you have to understand the what is the real challenge to your extraction process and it is the initial concentration of the tell me certain. It is the initial sample matrix which is going to pose a lot of challenge for the extraction of the telmisartan. So we need to understand what is the initial concentration or the preparation looks like. Let us understand for the all this three strength and you can see that the concentration is in the first column. Then the telmisartan 20 mg concentration, the 40 mg con uh, the concentration for telmisartan 40 mg tablet and then we will calculate the concentration for telmisartan 80 mg tablet. The stock concentration is nothing but the initial concentration of telmisartan and here is the preparation of telmisartan 20 mg tablet. So you will have taken 20 number of telmisartan tablets and that's what the 20 milligram has come over here and it has been diluted to 100 ml. So the final the, the concentration of telmisartan inside the initial solution or the stock solution is 4000 microgram per ml now how you are going to prepare the final concentration or the final solution so whatever stock solution you got you are going to take 10 ml of that solution and further going to dilute it to 100 ml so you will end up having the 400 microgram per ml telmisartan into your final taste solution. I hope you understand this very important step. Similarly, you will have the uh, 8000 microgram per ml of the telmisartan in the initial stock of the telmisartan 40 milligram tablet. But look at here now, the final concentration of the telmisartan, even in telmisartan 40 mg tablet is again remains to be 4, 400 microgram per ml. Is it same as like 20? Absolutely yes. And this third strength is telmisartan 80 mg. And you will find that 16,000 microgram per ml is the concentration of telmisartan in the initial or the stock of telmi 80 tablet. But look at here now, the final concentration of telmisartan remains the same for all three strength. And that's the reason we said that the final sample concentration is the same, the third important point. So having understood the initial concentration of telmisartan, having understood the final concentration of telmisartan inside the test preparation, now we need to understand the placebo requirement. Because see, sure in this case we are going to use the spiking test procedure. So we will use, we will measure the placebo amount and we will add the required API amount into it and then we will further treat the sample preparation. So what is the placebo amount uh, of the tablet? What is the placebo amount present into all three different strengths? So I will first consider the tell me certain 80 milligram tablet and if you remember that the tablet weight for 80 milligram is how much? It is 400 milligram, right? Then followed by what will be the tablet weight of 20 now, 20 number of tell me certain tablet? It will be 8000 milligram, right? It is just a simple multiplication and then you need to understand now what will be the weight of tell me certain present into this all 20 tablets. Now this is the telmisartan weight I am actually using and taking for preparation of telmisartan 80 mg sample. So you will find that it is 1600 milligram. So 1600 milligram of the telmisartan will be present into 20 tablets of 80 mg strength. So what will be the placebo weight? So placebo weight is nothing but the weight of 20 tablet which is 80, 800, uh, sorry 8000 milligram minus the weight of tell me certain API. So 8000 minus 1600 will give me the actual placebo weight present into a tell me certain 80 mg taste preparation and which is 6400 milligram. 
So when I take 20 tablets of telmisartan 80 milligram, I am actually taking 6400 milligram of the placebo. And similarly, you will understand that the placebo weight of the telmisartan 20 in its preparation will be 1600 milligram. And similarly, for 40 mg strength, it will be 3200 milligram. The next important question you need to ask yourself is which one is more complex or difficult for recovery now? Will you find that? Will you understand which one can pose the greater challenges for the telmisartan recovery? Is it 6400 milligram? Is it 1600 milligram or 3200 milligram? Look at here now. The concentration of this placebo will be different for the different strength. And hence, you will realize that 6400 milligram is certainly going to pose a greater challenge when it comes to a recovery. So, you have now defined the placebo amount for your recovery studies. If you prove that the telmisartan can get recovered from 6400 milligram it will be get recovered from 1600 milligram and it will be get recovered from 3200 milligram so that is the reason that the single accuracy study can suffice the requirement of the remaining strength having understood the placebo weight now let us now understand how we are going to prepare the accuracy solutions and these are the three different levels according to your protocol 50%, 100% and 150%. The next important step is we need to now understand the amount of placebo to be taken that we anyway discussed. The second important step is amount of API to be used. Then the further dilution details will be discussed. Now these are the three different strength, uh, sorry, three different accuracy levels, 50, 100 and 150. I hope you are able to follow me. Let us now understand for the 50% level and this is the placebo weight. We discussed why the 6400 milligram is going to be the placebo weight. Now the second important point is for API amount understanding you need to just follow the tell me certain ATMG preparation. So for 50% how much of the API has to be taken? So if you remember that for a tell me certain 80 milligram test preparation you end up getting 1600 milligram of the api right 1600 milligram of the api would you like to see that let me take you back now can you see over here now this is the placebo weight and if you go back to the sample preparation can you check over here that for 80 milligram tell me certain tablet we have taken actually 1600 20 into a2 becomes 1600 milligram of the api right so i will again come back over here and we were here. So 1600 milligram of the Telmisartan was taken for preparation of the Telmisartan 80 mg sample. But we need only 50% of that. So 50% of that becomes 800 milligram. I hope you understand this very important step. Then how we are going to dilute this API. It's very simple. You need to just follow the similar test procedure of that 80 milligram strength so whatever api we got which is 800 milligram now must be diluted to 100 ml and hence we will end up getting 8000 microgram per ml of the test solution now what is the further dilution follow the same procedure and you will know that the further 5 ml of whatever stock solutions we got needs to be diluted to 200 ml now what will be going to be the final concentration it is becoming 200 microgram per ml because this 800 milligram per 100 ml is the stock preparation and then the 5 to 200 ml is the second dilution result into a 200 microgram per ml now if you remember that what is our final concentration of the all three different stage solutions is it 400 microgram per ml if you remember and you will find that okay now the 50 percent has resulted into exactly half of that so we are on the right track similarly let us say for 100 percent and 150 percent how much is the placebo you need to take the similar amount of the placebo for all the different accuracy levels and if you follow the similar preparations as like tell me certain 80 mg strength now for 100% you will have to take 1600 milligram of the api 
For 150%, you need to take 2400 milligram of the API and for 100 milligram, you need to dilute it to, for 100%, you need to dilute it to 100 ml. For 150%, you need to dilute it to again 100 ml. And now these are the different concentrations for this stock. Further, don't change the dilutions. Make it 5 to 200 ml for all the strain, uh, all the accuracy levels. And you will now find that for 100%, your accuracy solution concentration is 400 microgram per ml. For 150%, your final concentration of the accuracy solution is 600 microgram per ml. Now, if you correlate this final concentration with your test concentration, can you find that they are in the sink? That 50% is actually the 50% of the final test concentration. Uh, again, the 100% accuracy level solution concentration is again exactly equal to the, the test concentration of all the strength. And finally, the 150% accuracy concentration is exactly 150% of your test concentration. So you can realize that we are actually got the required concentrations, right? But more important is not this concentration, right? How you achieve this concentration is very important. We have considered the API preparation or the initial accuracy preparation in line with the worst case scenario that is our ATMG strain. So I hope you are now clear on preparation of uh, accuracy solutions for the assay of a drug product having multiple strength. Thank you so much.